All right, y'all, grab your energy drinks and let's get going. I filmed this on a day that I was so tired, so my intro and outro footage would just was just terrible. So we're just going to get into this with some post-shave balm, and I'm rubbing this in with a e.l.f. This is a, ooh, I think it's like a contour brush. I'm not really sure. I'm going to list everything down below. I just wanted to rub this in with a brush because I had freshly fake tanned, and the less amount of times I have to wash my hands, the better. So I just rub this in, I kind of do one half at a time. This adds some hydration and it's a great drugstore primer. That glycerin is really gonna make stuff stick to your face, so. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. makeup spray and just spraying this all over my face, waiting for it to get tacky, and then going in with the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 205 with a damp beauty blender and putting this all over my face, just blending it right in. This is a super glowy, pretty high coverage foundations from the drugstore. It's great. I love this stuff. It makes my skin look and feel amazing. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 25 just to conceal those dark circles because I was tired. This is a medium buildable coverage concealer. Um, I just go in one time with this and it seems to be just fine. I go and put powder over my face anyway, you'll see later. So it doesn't really matter the initial coverage to me and I was too tired to continue packing it on. So I just kind of blend this in with my that same beauty blender. You can see the difference there. I was just ugh, puffy. There's a little bit of redness, some dark circles around my eyes, just, just, just real bad. Then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set those liquids down with the Milani Make It Last. I do this almost every time I do my makeup. I see a real big difference in the longevity. Then I'm going in with the Clinique Up Lighting. You can't really see a difference. This is like a liquid highlighter. Liquid highlighter. You can't really see a difference now because my whole face just kind of looks wet. But when I set my face later and like put powder highlights over the places where I put this up lighting liquid, it's really going to make it pop and it makes a big difference. I'm using the Behold Translucent Powder just because it's literally the only one that I own. And then I'm using the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. I just use that translucent powder to bake under my eyes and then I use the other foundation, the powder foundation on the rest of my face, just using a damp beauty blender. I do this because the Bare Minerals will add coverage because it is a powder foundation and it's going to set down my makeup really well, but the original does have a lot of luminosity to it, so I'm not going to lose any of that glow. Every time I wear this combination, I get tons of compliments that my skin looks so healthy and pretty, not that oh, what foundation is that? It's like, oh, your skin looks so good. So I love this combination and I love how full coverage it is because I was trying to cover all my sins this day. Then I just use a little powder brush to dust away the translucent powder from where I was baking. Then I'm gonna use these two highlighters from Wet n Wild and a fan brush and just start putting this all over my face. I put it on my cheekbones, above my brow bone. I kind of take it onto the side of my face. I do put this a little bit on my ears just because they show so much now. Um, I put this on the bridge of my nose. I put this on my cupid's bow, just pretty much anywhere. I like to light up like a disco ball. So then I'm going to use the Sonia Kashuk bronzer. This has a quite a bit of luminosity and it's also really pigmented. So just use a light hand and I start on my temples and kind of work my way in a, like a C shape onto my cheekbones and I don't really contour. I'm just bronzing. I'm adding some color to my face and picking this on putting this like all over my cheeks, basically even onto the apples. I don't do my brows on camera, but I do use the Zoeva Brow Spectrum palette. And then I'm going in with this Smashbox all matte palettes, like the neutral palette that they came out with, taking those two white shades and just putting this all over the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone just to brighten them up. And then I'm basically just gonna work my way down the line from lightest brown to the darkest brown. Actually, it's like a dark purple. I don't use the black, but that's the only color that I don't use. I just work those into my crease and then I'm taking the two darkest colors and putting them onto my lid and blending them out. You'll kind of see what I'm doing as I'm talking about it, but it is a super easy matte smoky eye look. You just blend, blend, blend. That's the trick to this. You just blend. My best advice is to use those dark colors, that, like the final colors that you're going to use on your 
lid, you're going to want to blend those a little bit into the crease initially because it's going to help it look more seamless in the end. If you just pack on a dark color all over your lid and try to blend it out from there with little to no transition, it's going to look really choppy and really weird. So just do that crease first, make sure it's really blended and make sure that the last color you use in your crease, that's going to be like just in the very deepest part of your crease is the dark color that you plan to use on your lid, if that makes sense. I also do my lower lash line as I go, like I say in every other video. It's just easier for me to do it as I do the top. It helps me keep everything really even and blended looking. Then I'm just going to go in and do a coat of mascara on the top and bottom. I am using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Volume Mascara and I do put on lashes later but as you can see it looks fine with no lashes. It still looks smoky and beautiful and then I'm going in with the, I'm going in with two of the Wet n Wild blushes. Um, I normally would go in with like more of a nude nude brown champagne kind of color as a blush but when I'm tan I like to go pretty pink I'm definitely a blush girl you don't have to put as much blush as me but I love my blush and then I go in with the Milani this is I think the number three highlighter Then I go in with the Milani Make It Dewy Spray and I cover my eyes to not ruin my eyeshadow because this is this is pretty emollient, I guess. It will kind of make your eyeshadow crease. So I just block my eyes using a palette and spray this on the outer portions of my face to really enhance the dewiness. And then I use the Make It Last all over my face to seal everything in one last time. I'm using the number three Milani lip liner. I don't know why I only have some clips of me showing y'all what I'm using and then some I just they're just not there. So I don't know. I was just a tired wreck. So I'm using the number three Milani lip liner and lining my lips and filling them in and then using an Ofra liquid lipstick. I also go in with a gloss, but if you like that matte look, then just leave it here. I just wanted to add a little bit more life, a little bit more shininess to my face, so I go in with a Milani gloss all over my lips. And that is the finished look. Everything that I use will be listed in the bottom bar below along with other links and my social media and all kinds of stuff like that. If you like this video, definitely give it a like. Leave me a comment down below about anything that you want to see in the future. And other than that, I think we're good to go. So thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye. about it the way I'm talking about it now. Like saying that is fucking six.
They just want to leave all the partnered with the leaders in advertising and in social media to prepare you for a career in Show the who gon' hold us.